a treat today yeah what do we got we got a get out review still my favorite movie of 2017 it's my leader in the clubhouse yeah let's get into it i'm so glad to be doing a review for get out did we like it easy four out of four i loved it four <laughs> yeah. out of four how it was, it was like the easiest four out of four how could you not so give this four out of four get out i didn't speak for nine hours <laughs> and then the next thought i had was i need to see that movie again uh, i saw it like uh probably like three or four days after it came out and people were fucking going crazy after seeing it yeah so it already had uh, a ton of buzz i think it was like a hundred percent on rotten tomatoes <laughs> at that time uh and everybody was like it's a movie that you need to see twice because there's so many details that you need to pay attention to and you're like i'll be the fucking judge like i'm, I'm quick i'll get that shit right and uh and I saw it. I did like I did one of those things where I saw it and I was like, I need to immediately read up on everything that I can. And then like, it's one of those movies on the second time watching it through, you appreciate it more because you know of uh, of the shit. And uh, I remember texting about it with you like, did you see the Jordan Peele trailer? That looks like the weirdest fucking thing yep. in the world. And it just went without seeing. Like you can't see every movie. I'm not gonna see that. And then people were like. Yo, that movie's pretty good. And then Lena Waithe went to a screening of it and posted on Instagram, like, the most important movie you'll ever see. I was like, what? <laughs> no fucking reason to believe that this was going to be an unbelievable movie. Like, somebody known for one thing, doing something completely, completely different, different, and it's better than anything they've done in their fucking life. How did everyone look? See, uh, that's a tough one. Uh, because, like, there's... Man, you're Allison gonna, You're going to hear my answer, and you're going to then take the same answer as me. Allison Williams looked phenomenal. Um, mm -hmm. She was great. Scrumptious. Yep. Uh, fantastic all the way through. Her brother, man, that kid was in fucking everything this year. He's I a creepy his looking. Name. He's a creepy looking he's guy. He's in everything, and he's very creepy looking. But also like you need a creepy guy. But also like deceptively handsome when he wants to be, because he's got like that scumbag he's, handsome. Look. He's a award show hot. Yeah. Where like you put him when in a movie, so if you if you have to get him to an award show, people are gonna look at your cast and go, "That's a good looking cast." A uh, one point three out of two. You're gonna. You're going to be upset when you hear my score. Go on. My score is a two out of two because it's not just about Allison Williams. It's about Georgina. Who the, the, the what, what the fuck is that thing that she was able to, as a young woman, they were able to make her look and feel old? Um, I, how, how, how young is she? Like 20 to 30. No way. Yeah, 20s for sure. No way. Is a young woman who acts and looks really fucking old. That We're going to keep this in case I'm wrong because I might be wrong, but I don't think I am. If Well, I mean, if you're not wrong, you're proving your point because there is no way that I thought that she was like under 40. <laughs> yeah. Like under, four, like under 35, I'll say. So how about this? If that's right, uh, if I'm right, then you... I'll change my score. Yes. Looks like a young lady. Let me see. Oh, um, yeah. She's younger than you thought, right? Yeah, she's definitely younger than I thought. Um, and wow, they for sure made her look way older. Right. So, yeah. So like, even I'll yeah. give you I'll give you points, but like okay. that. But since it's inconclusive, it's technically inconclusive. There's not enough evidence to overturn your score. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep it at a 1.3. Okay. I'm keeping it at two. But I think that maybe now we're both judging our answers because now that I don't, I don't have a solid age on her. Who knows? Right. She could be older. It's a little than, bit of a mystery. She could be older than Georgina. <laughs> that would be fucking. I, I think that you're safe there. Okay. Uh, are we stealing stuff from it? Now we have to do a little. Uh, we have to look back on our lives a little bit to decide did we steal, did stuff, we from steal it? stuff from and it? And that gets as full points for me as possible because I literally clipped a gif of Lakeith Stanfield to yes. use that shot of yeah. Lakeith Stanfield, which is the shot of the year. For sure. Uh, yeah, there's a lot. Uh, and also just like I've stolen like don't be racist. <laughs> from oh, nice. The, yeah. So nice. like steal stuff. I would say a uh, that's like a one point. I'll give it like a one point eight. I 
usually if it's just one thing, I won't give it uh, a super high mark. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to give it a two out of two. Yeah, because because we got a lot of run out of that. Right. Yeah. Like, honestly, uh, is it problematic? Now, a refresher for people. This is two points to is its problematicness good or bad. So, for example, if it is not problematic at all and we don't want it to be problematic, it would get a full score. Now, if it is a movie like Happy Death, Death Day where it is intentionally awkwardly problematic at points as an homage to movies past, then you say... Yes, it correctly did its problematic or if thing. It's, or if it's like a, a comedy where the the problematicness of it plays into the humor, yeah, then that's that counts as positive points. Where so it gives you, it. you, where it gets a low score is if it imparts a problematic message on you. Is full score for not impart, not only not imparting a bad thing, but opening some eyes, opening right. some ears, opening some hearts. It is uh it is problematic in uh, in the way that it's supposed to be. Like there are problematic you, characters. There are pro- a lot of problematic things in this movie. Uh, basically it's problematic throughout. But the wisdom it imparts on you is do right. not be like those problematic characters. <laughs> yeah, so and, and, uh so that I'm for sure uh, giving a 2 out of 2. Yeah, I mean the, the smartest movie for sure of the year. Uh, all right, let's add these up. They ended up with a 9.3 out of 10. Ooh, <laughs> that's crazy. It's still very high. Uh, maybe the highest uh, you've given in brunch history. We'd it have absolutely to check. is. I've yeah. never gone over 9. And uh, no one has gotten a full 10 on this podcast until now. Wow. A full 10 for Get Out and... Uh, one of us was going to fucking do it. Uh, no movie deserves it more than Get Out. Uh, I like the idea of us both going over nine for this. It sets the fucking bar, and that's what Get Out is. It's a fucking bar-setting movie. Brunch! Hit it, boys! Hit it, boys!